Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And if you are anything like me, you have been flying a lot of the TBM 930. And uh, I personally could not find any good videos on the internet that explained how in the heck you're supposed to control this with just a physical throttle. And um, so we're just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of run you through the options that I found. So uh, option one is if you have a single throttle axis, then, uh, so you're always going to want to start with the throttle in the cutoff position for all of these. And, uh, for the record, I have a throttle and a propeller axis and I have a reverse, uh, button set, a uh, toggle reverse button set on my throttle. So if you're just using a single throttle, no reverse, no, no propeller, just like the slider on a T16,000 joystick, which is one of the, one of the ones I have, then in order to use this, uh, so from cutoff, if you bump the throttle forward a little bit and then bring it back to zero, it'll move into the low idle position, which is where you, where you want to be at 13% uh, NG uh, during the startup sequence. And then uh, as it gets to like 50%, you want to move it to the flight idle position. So you just bring it forward slowly until it moves over and then you can bring it back to flight idle. And so you can start up with just a single throttle. It's really great like that. But once it's over here, it will stay over here for just normal throttle forward and back. So, and then if you also have a, uh, if you also have reverse set, a toggle reverse, then you can hit that button and then you can move the throttle forward and back in the reverse detent as well. But you cannot get it back over here without using the mouse. So, actually, I don't think you can move it to high idle at all, but you can move it to the right and then you can move it back down again and then down again with the mouse. Interestingly, if you do have the throttle over here, Uh, so if you do like that, then reverse will, uh, clicking the reverse toggle will allow it to go into the cutoff spot. So you can shut it down with a single throttle if you have a reverse button set. Uh, but so if you want slightly finer control, I recommend having, if you have like a two or multi-axis setup, I recommend having one axis set to propeller. Because when you have propeller set, you can go back and forth from flight idle to low idle using the propeller axis. So this is me sliding the secondary axis that I have. So in my general configuration, starting from, uh, so the startup sequence, you start from uh, idle cutout, bump the throttle forward a little bit to get it into low idle. Uh, we'll start with both axes at zero, bump the throttle forward a little bit to get it to low idle, and then bring up the propeller to get it to flight idle, and then you've got full throttle control on the left side. So then the shutdown sequence is very similar. Once you've had it sitting here long enough, you bring the propeller control back to zero to bring it to low idle, and then you, and you toggle reverse on your throttle and bring the throttle forward a little bit to bring it to reverse, and then uh, bring it back to zero before you turn the reverse off. And then it's in cutoff. So you can, you can control this entire sequence without having to use the mouse at all. If you've got just two axes and some kind of reverse setup. I believe if you've got like uh, the SciTech throttle quad or the um, Honeycomb Bravo throttle quad, I think that if you set the, uh, if you set the detent at the bottom of the propeller axis or the bottom of the throttle axis to decrease throttle, then moving that axis into the uh, into the detent will, uh, while the, um, if you move the axis into the detent while the throttle is in the low idle position, which is right here, then it will pop into cutoff. So, so again, so covering that, if you have a multi lever, uh, throttle, so like the SciTech, then you want to have, uh, the SciTech or the Bravo throttle quadrant, you want to have a throttle axis, a propeller axis, and then at the bottom of both or just one, either either option works, uh, have the detents set to decrease throttle. So that from the flight idle position, you, you, you bring the, so in flight idle position, that is throttle at zero and propeller at full. And then in order to bring it back to cutoff from there using just the levers you have outside the game, you bring the throttle, or you bring the propeller axis back to zero, and the lever goes to low idle, 
and then you hit whatever your decreased throttle uh, setting is. So that can be either moving the propeller lever into the detent at the bottom of the axis. It can be moving the throttle lever into the detent at the bottom of the axis. It can be hitting your toggle reverse button and increasing your throttle lever and then bringing that back to zero and turning off your reverse. It can be if you have just a button that's set to reverse thrust, uh, that will work as well. Uh, and I've heard some people say that there's uh, some weird things with the mixture control where you can make it go to cut off with that. I personally have not had any experience with that. I have a button set for decrease mixture and increase mixture, and that doesn't seem to do anything with that. If I go to mixture cutout, yeah, it doesn't do anything at all. So you don't need the mixture lever at all with this plane. Just propeller, throttle, and then some kind of decrease throttle or reverse control. Though again, if you're in, if you're on the left side of this uh, of this throttle shifter, then the decrease throttle will bring you into the reverse range instead. So, hope that helps. <laughs> Took me a while to get all of this figured out myself, but it does work. And you only need two axes and a single button or reverse setup in order to properly control this whole thing. So, hope that helps. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day. Uh, my name's Elio Dare. You can find me on the internet at uh, Elio Dare on Twitter, Xbox Live, Steam, etc. Or just leave comments below the videos, because I'm still a tiny channel. So, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!